Hey what up guys, Austin here today, a new video for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream with the Blackmagic Intensity Pro and the Hapog HD PVR. Uh, so first off you're going to want to go to Google and go to xsplit.com. Uh, you can just type xsplit in Google and it will be the first result. Um, and then first of all you're going to want to register. Uh, I think you have to register to uh, start off but yeah after you register uh, download it and then after you download it uh, this should come up uh, in a new thing oops I where's a new one all right so this will this will be the first thing that will come up let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys all right so yeah this will this will be the first thing to come up and so for the black magic intensity pro uh, first thing you want to do is go to add camera and then add debt de link video capture um, this isn't going to come up right away actually the first thing you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to right click this and go do cam and then configure and then video input so then this this box is going to come up and then you're going to want to add whatever um, whatever however you're capturing it uh, whatever you have it set up in uh, total media extreme uh, I guess I could show or I don't think I can actually oh I can okay um, so you're gonna want it it'll just be in preferences and yeah so I'm capturing in 720p uh, 59.94 frames per second uh, so yeah We'll just close that out. So yeah, uh, whatever you have in there will be what you want to do here. So I'm doing that, and I'll just click OK. And then this should come up, and then you can just make that full screen. And then, that yeah, that's basically it for um, setting that up. Uh, now I'm going to show how to stream with the Hapog and then after that I will show the settings so for the Hapog first of all you're gonna want to make this a little smaller what am I looking for uh, I normally have it at 70 percent uh, but yeah so you're gonna want to open total media extreme I think it's called and then I don't have my PVR set up as you can see I have my uh, black magic set up so um, yeah I'm basically just gonna be only showing a black screen but uh, so what you're gonna want to do is add and then screen region and then just do whatever it is I'm I'm just guessing here and then once you do that just want to make that full screen and then the quality for the PVR isn't gonna be all that great but this is basically the best you're gonna get out of it if you have two monitors uh, which I have you could possibly make this full screen and then in your other monitor you can have like exploit and your stream open and all that but if you just have one monitor like most people do uh, just uh, do it this way and then uh, the reason you're going to do it that way is so you can have this open and have like your stream and all that open as well uh, because when you have it full screen you can't really do anything um, but if you do have it full screen the quality is a lot better so I don't know if you want to mess around with full screen maybe uh, you can try that uh, but yeah uh, if you have one monitor I just suggest doing it this way uh, but yeah so oh and make sure you have your stream muted because if you don't there will be a very annoying echo and yeah so just mute your stream when you're uh, when you're on the page and then okay so now for the settings let's just have that and we'll minimize that and make this bigger actual all right so for me i have it on where are we resolution i have it on 720p um if you have a good computer and a half decent internet uh kind of depends um uh, yeah, if you like, I have a I have a pretty good computer, but my internet's all that not that great. So, but I still stream in 720p. Uh, so just mess around with whatever you want to try. 
and then yeah so for frame rate I use that if you don't if you are not a premium member I don't think you can go past 30 frames per second which I'm premium and I still use this so it's not that big of a deal uh, but I do suggest buying premium because um, your quality improves and your sound quality and all that stuff uh, and all that so yeah and if you're having troubles with like uh, CPU uh, as you can see my CPU meter is really low right now but if you're having troubles with CPU when you're streaming you can go to 10% and it makes it and it makes it smaller and it just has less CPU usage um, so yeah that's it about that and now we're going to go here and when you uh, make sure you have a twitch channel of course uh, if you want to make a twitch channel just go to their uh, website and just I'm I think the button right here would uh, would uh, say sign up or something so yeah just sign up there and then after you do that add channel and then username and password channel uh, for location you're gonna want to put whatever server is closest to you uh, for me it's Los Angeles because I live in um, Canada on the East Coast uh, so yeah Los Angeles is the closest to me but yeah just put wherever is closest to you and that should help a little bit um, where are we alright and then second of all you're gonna want to go to speedtest.net so once you go here um, I'm gonna be uh, blacking out right there because that is my IP and I don't want people to see that uh, but yeah so you're gonna wanna go here and you're gonna wanna test your internet uh, download it doesn't really matter it's all about upload speed when it comes to streaming uh, so yeah my upload or my download is 38 which uh, it's, it's okay I guess but my upload speed is god awful I, I wish I could uh, upgrade my internet I'm trying to upgrade my internet um, so yeah hopefully one day that happens but yeah I have a just below a 2 um, if you want good 720p streams uh, you're gonna want about a 3 upload speed so for bitrate I uh, you're if you have a um, an upload speed over 3 you're gonna wanna use um, 2500 uh, that'll be the best quality um, <clears throat> sorry um, but yeah that'll be the best quality for your viewers and all that stuff so yeah just trust me on this one 2500 is the best uh, if you have below that for me example I have a just a below a 2 so I use 1400 uh, I can go to 1500 but sometimes I lag when I'm playing so just to be safe I always go to 1400 um, but yeah so once you once you set all this up your quality I normally have it on 10 um, this is all fine and then forget what I had this on I, I forget my audio settings but you can think specs or I don't know um, whatever just figure the audio that cuz I can't remember I'm sorry <laughs> that's, that's really bad but yeah after you do all this uh, you're gonna want to test bandwidth you should, I'll just I'll just do it on one of mine uh, I I'm blocking out the stream key because I don't want anybody to see that but yeah this is my settings this is what I use so yeah th these are my audio options sorry about that um, and then once you do all that you're gonna want to test bandwidth and then 45 seconds I I'll speed this up so yeah I'll be right back okay so we're back and as you can see when there's a green light that means your internet's all good and you'll be able to stream and there won't be any dropped frames uh, if you're in like yellow uh, I suggest dropping down your bitrate a little bit and if you're in red I suggest dropping it a lot um, yeah just just uh, go off by that and I suggest don't start streaming until you uh, get that green light 
so yeah that's basically everything done there and we'll just cancel that and yeah that's basically it uh, here's where you're gonna set up your mic in general uh, you just set up your microphone and game sound and if you're talking in Skype you're gonna want to check that off and yeah that's basically it I oh and also here is my color correction this is for the oh no sorry um, this is my color correction uh, so yeah just a slight oopsie uh, just a slight saturation with um, some brightness options and all that stuff uh, it makes uh, this is for COD by the way Call of Duty uh, all the Call of Duties are kind of the same so uh, you can use these for any COD doesn't matter which one you're playing uh, yeah this basically looks good in all of them really um, so yeah that's that about that <laughs> uh, but yeah that's that's it and um, as you can see I have multiple scenes here uh, just like just um, yeah you can just make multiple scenes and all that stuff but oh and one more thing for delay server you have to be a premium for this um, so yeah um, uh, but this is good for like if you play uh, GB, um, which I do, so uh, that is good about that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying now. Uh, but yeah, I if you're going to be streaming a lot and you have like good equipment and all that stuff and you, and you can stream in good quality, I definitely suggest buying premium. Uh, their, your quality and all that stuff will improve. Uh, but yeah, so once you do this, you're just going to want to set up how much time or whatever. Uh, it's going to ask you to run something. You're just going to want to run that. But I think I already did that, so that's why then that didn't pop up. Uh, but yeah, so uh, for GB, I just do 60 seconds. 60 seconds is fine. Um, and it'll be, at, you can tell if it's working if it says active right there. So once you do that, you just minimize it and then broadcast and then yeah that's basically it you don't need to really do anything with it and it'll do a 60 second delay for you so uh it's pretty nice uh but yeah that's basically it i i don't really have anything else to say if you have any questions or you need some help with something um definitely just leave a comment and i will get back to you uh as quick as i possibly can <laughs> um but yeah, I, think, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.